one of my previous videos, one of you asked me whether I could review the Spectrum spray paints sold at the action. So, here we are. I bought all six of the colored primers along with the matte and gloss varnish. The reason why I'm even considering these primers is because they're very cheap. Five or six of these cans cost just as much as one of these cans. An army painter or citadel spray can. But are they any good? To find out, I'll be testing these primers on their adhesion, coverage and finish. To test these properties, I made a swatch by gluing some pieces of sprue, some bits and some sand and small rocks onto a piece of wood. The reason I chose these materials is because most of you watching will probably want to use the spray primers on materials like this. After applying each of the sprays, two of them stand out. The white and the red. As you can see, the color on these sprays is most intense in the low spots and least intense in the high spots meaning it pulls in the recesses. This is something you really don't want when priming miniatures, as this can really clog up the details. The rest of the sprays, however, look really good so far. Adhesion seems really good on the black and the grey primer. I used the grey primer on this golem, for example, and I used the black primer on a lot of my other miniatures as well, like these. However, the white, red and metallic sprays are a bit hydrophobic. I used the white primer, for example, to paint this Broodlord, and when I applied a wash, it tended to pull really, really badly. So painting it was an all round disaster. Same goes for the silver paint. I used it on this piece of terrain. And while the coverage is great, painting over it was also a nightmare. And while I haven't used the red or the gold spray paint in any project so far, I could already tell that when I applied some paints over it on the swatch, it had the same properties as the white and the silver spray paints. To test out the varnishes, I made another swatch with three different strips. To each strip, I applied Mephiston red, Dark green, dark blue and standard Mechanicus grey. I then applied a matte varnish to the one on the left and a gloss varnish to the strip on the right. The gloss varnish obviously makes the surface very glossy and if that's something you want then it's fine. But if not, I really recommend the matte varnish. As you can see there's barely any change in color but it does change the finish of the paints overall which is very nice in my opinion. Some paints are a bit more glossy than others and using this matte varnish really pulls everything together. Be careful not to use too much because it will change the color slightly. So, in conclusion, these are the sprays I don't recommend, these are the sprays I do recommend. If you want me to review anything else from the action, leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.